Hey guys, these are my two DIY GoPro dome ports that you have probably seen in my how to build video and, and the overview videos. Um, if not, go check those out. Uh, it tells you what they are and gives you some sample footage and how to build them. I keep getting questions from people on what size you should build. Um, this is a seven inch here and I just finished the five recently for comparison purposes. Um, I'm going to get into which one's better and why and I'm going to give you some sample footage uh, between these two domes and also between a dome port and no dome port and um, just also some miscellaneous tips that I've learned. So let's get into it. So the first thing is obviously the physical size of these two, um, but not just on land, also in the water. The seven inch ends up having a ton of buoyancy. So it's harder to get the camera steady when you're doing 50-50 shots because the, the dome is floating. Um, also, when you're fully submerged, the dome wants to kind of do its own thing because it's got so much flotation, um, especially if you're using the GoPro mounting um, on, a, on a fixture of some sort, the dome kind of tends to want to float uh, into position. It's hard to get the knobs tight enough. Secondly, underwater, the five inch dome has a lot less water resistance. Like when you're swimming through the water, um, the big dome again kind of gets pushed around more and it's hard to have steady shots. And, and if you're using the GoPro mounting again, it kind of puts stress on that and, and makes it turn and move. And then another big one is since the, the smaller dome is obviously smaller, it's just easier to transport. Um, this big dome is pretty huge and there's just much more likelihood that you will scratch a larger dome. Uh, not to mention the fact that this will fit in a camera bag a lot more easily and you know you can cover it more easily to protect it. And finally you can see that on the larger dome there's more room between bolts. Um, that gives you more of a chance for a leak. If you build a larger dome, I would recommend putting more than eight bolts around here. I've got eight on this, and I would consider that to be the bare minimum. Um, you know, do 10 or maybe 12 would be more secure, but uh, that would just help you uh, avoid leaks in the gasket. And as far as the gaskets go, um, I think I mentioned in my how to build video that this is a medium firmness material. Um, from experience now, I would recommend getting a harder material. Um, you know, you don't want it hard, but something that's a little more rigid than, than the medium. Um, and this, this gasket has a tendency to collapse, um, so a, a stiffer material would make a better seal. And one other thing real quick, I have seen other videos where the builder is putting the camera inside the dome. So instead of being on the, on the rear, it would be actually inside the dome. The, the obvious reason to do this is because it's easier to build, but it's not really how dome ports work. So I'll put a link in the description to some information on dome port theory. Um, it's actually pretty complex, but the bottom line is you want your lens to be in the center of the circle and in the center of the dome. So if you have it inside of the dome, the lens would be you know, out here somewhere. It's way too far forward and the optics just don't, don't work that way. Um, that's not the ideal situation. Um, if you're just going to use this maybe one time, you know, those might work and get you by, but if you plan on using this for any, you know, extended period of time, I would build it right and then put the camera on the back. If you look at all the commercially available domes, they've all got the camera on the back of the dome. Anyway, let's get into some sample footage real quick and I'll show you the difference between dome and no dome and then this, the difference between these two. So here you can see the standard GoPro enclosure on the left and the 5 inch dome port on the right. Um, this is 50-50 shots and you can see how hard it is to get that, that straight line to stay stationary with the standard enclosure. Um, that's because the water is just right up against the lens and the dome port dome keeps the water further away from the lens so it's easier to do. Here you can see an example of the cameras underwater. Um, both cameras field of view is set the same but the dome port keeps the image uh, at a wider field of view. 
Um, this allows the, you to get the camera closer to your object underwater and get more detail um, and still get everything in the frame. Here you can see that the rocks look bigger and the quarter looks bigger on the bottom of the lake. Um, that's with the cameras with the same settings, so it's kind of interesting. So here you can see the two dome ports. Uh, both cameras are set at the same field of view. Uh, I didn't work real hard on my color correction. But um, you can see that the image magnification is the same below the water and above the water. Uh, it's kind of hard to hold two dome ports level at the same time. But uh, if you look closely, there's not a lot of difference between the two. Here you can see that the rocks underwater look about the same size. Uh, there's not really a difference in magnification. The quarter looks about the same. Um, so the, the dome ports function pretty much the same. Here you can see that the magnification the field of view is about the same. My head looks about the same size. So there's really not an appreciable difference between the two different sizes of dome ports. So because of that, I have to recommend that you build a, a five inch or you know some similar size. I don't think there's any reason to go with a, a seven inch or larger for a GoPro use. Here, this is just kind of interesting. Um, just shows the dome underwater. Um, and what it's filming. I actually had to use a big piece of steel to keep both domes uh, underwater and, and facing the same direction. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you have any questions and if you like my videos, please consider subscribing.